If you know someone with asthma, if you love someone with asthma, they need to be extra careful this week. A man, a warning rather, from a man who knows the danger after losing his wife to asthma three years ago. That Boston man wants people to know that this is peak week for asthmatics. Ragweed is high. The chance of an asthma attack increases. Julian McDonald sat down with him to learn about how he lost his wife and what he wants others to know. What? Are you recording? Funny and smart and so beautiful and so strong. Exactly three years after Laura Levis's death, her husband carries in his heart her love of life. There's no one I've ever met who got more out of each day, uh, more fun out of each day than Laura. And um, I miss that about her so much. The active and adventurous young woman collapsed from an asthma attack outside a locked entrance to Somerville Hospital. She was 34 years old. There is no way she ever thought that asthma could end her life. I wish I was with her so much. I wasn't. It was only after losing Laura that DeMarco learned his wife's deadly attack came during September's perfect storm known as Peak Week. The environment was a threat that day. That is the most dangerous week of the year for anyone with asthma. It's high ragweed pollen season and there are more viruses out there, especially with kids returning to school. Laura didn't know about asthma peak week. I didn't know about asthma peak week. He's made it his mission to educate other asthmatics and their families. Make sure that they have their inhalers with them. Make sure they've filled their nebulizer fluids. Make sure that if they have an attack that they need to tell someone. So that Laura's tragedy might prevent another. That no one else dies the way she did. That's just so important. Next week at the State House, DeMarco will testify in support of Laura's Law, a bill that would establish standards for how hospitals are labeled, lit, and monitored. In Boston, Julie McDonald, WBZ News.